Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark <coughs> Extreme. Here with a shit on my shoulder. Skeeter Scout Flyer. And we're back at you again with another top 10 video. This time, it's the 10 things you didn't know about Brock Lesnar. You okay? As hurts to do. So as you know, I, Marky Extreme, have been in this business for quite a long time. So I know several things about the boys that, that not many people know about. Yeah, you're revealing all the secrets. They gotta reveal the secrets. Number 10. We all know that Brock Lesnar was the youngest WWE Champion, King of the Ring winner, Royal Rumble winner, but what you don't know is Brock Lesnar was the youngest person to end the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania. He's the youngest one? The youngest one to do it, yeah. It's crazy. Number nine. Brock Lesnar hunted and killed Mark Merrow in order to marry his wife, Sable. Did he, did he really kill him? Yeah. He got a gaming license and everything. Johnny be bad, more like Johnny be dead. <laughs> that was that was too too far. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Johnny be bad. Number eight, Brock Lesnar's fav famous theme song. What you didn't know is that song actually had lyrics, but because of the WWE PG era that came in. Couldn't do the lyrics, but I'm about to reveal to you right now what those lyrics were. I Sable, you don't Sable, cause I Sable. Dun, 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 dun. That was what the lyrics were supposed to be. That does, that, that tells you everything you need to know though. Mm hmm Number seven. We all know that Brock Lesnar likes to hunt, but uh, did you? Sorry. Okay. Did you know that a secret passion of his is that he is an amateur tap dancer? Hmm. I did not know that. But thank you for telling me. They have family nights at the house and he, he puts on a little show for everybody and tap dances. Number six. Brock Lesnar only eats Jimmy John's. That's, that's, that's crazy to me. You know, I wish I could get a sponsor. Man, I eat Arby's all the damn time. Oh, that'd be cool. Then on all your on your gear, mm -hmm. it says Arby's. You you have the meats. I got the meats. You do. You you got a lot of meats on you. The f does that mean? You got a lot of meats. I seen you with your shirt off. There's a lot of meats. Gosh, gear. I'm still sensitive about my weight. I'm not there yet. It's like those Mickey James photos, but you got the roast beef on you. What Mickey James photos? You've never seen those Mickey James photos? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Arby's, right? They said we can't show that. It's it's all. It's they're good. Number five, Brock Lesnar can't memorize scripts. That's why he hired Paul Heyman to talk for him. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It's hard to memorize anything. Yeah, memorizing right now. is so stupid. Like. Just let the wrestlers talk what it, or say whatever they want to talk, say, you know? Like, Jesus, we're, not, we're out there to, supposed to wrestle. We ain't out there uh, being actors. Yeah, you ain't actors. This ain't, this isn't ballet. Number four, the F5 finisher had some really weird origins. It originally was supposed to be a move that he, that uh, Brock Lesnar picked up his opponent on his shoulders and then just ripped them apart. But, well, what happened there? He fell down. Yeah, he tripped one day and the guy just fell and then Vince McMahon said, I love it, and they stuck with that. Yeah, but there's a lot of jobber guys that died. Didn't we know one of those guys? Didn't one of those guys come through the BWE circuit one time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forget who it was. Uh, the Junkyard Parrot. That's where he went. Yeah. God He got dang. torn in half by Brock Lesnar. Oh, rest in peace. Not gonna fly no more. Number three. Brock Lesnar doesn't 
poop. No. Yep. Only things he does is eat, sleep, suplex, and he just repeats those things. That's all he does. Well, but wait, when does he wrestle? That's suplex. Suplex is wrestle. What about him and Sable? Don't they? Oh, don't that's they all. Like only to... he only does a suplex. He gets behind her, like goes and suplex her, but instead he just. That's Suplex City. That's Suplex City. He doesn't poop. No. He's a machine. He's like I imagine it's being because he's part machine or some shit. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't have to poop, man. That would just be so convenient. And sometimes, like when I poop, it's either one or two things. It hurts or it's just too much. Yeah, and you fall asleep in there sometimes too because it takes so long. Yeah, and also because my damn circulation gets cut off with my legs on the toilet seat. Pooping is just not meant for a wrestler. Yeah, sometimes you get you get me in there and then you keep you have me massaging your legs so mm -hmm. you stay awake. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm in there for sometimes three or four hours at a time. Number two, Brock Lesnar was banned from doing any more make a wishes after the incident with Zach Gowan, where he pushed him in a wheelchair down the stairs. Well, damn. Probably good though. I don't imagine Brock Lesnar around kids is that good of a thing. No, you, I mean they make a wish because you know you make a wish when they're they're not gonna be around too long. But Brock Lesnar come in, he speeds up the process. Yeah, he's he's a plug puller. Wee wee wee! Bonus fact: I bet you guys didn't know what really happened to Zach Gowan's other leg. But guess what? I do. You want to hear it? Yeah. Zach Gallon's other leg was eaten by Brock Lesnar. He just, it's when he was first getting into the business and Brock said, what are, this is gonna be one hell of a rib. But wait, you said he ate his leg. It, yeah, but he pulled a rib on Zach Gallon. He pulled out one of his no, ribs? a rib is when you play a, a joke on a, one of the boys. And Brock Lesnar like just got into the business. He's like, I'm gonna pull one hell of a rib. I'm gonna eat this guy's leg off. But wait, that's pulling a leg. He pulled, a, he pulled his leg. I hate you. And number one, Brock Lesnar's favorite movie is Bambi. But he thinks it's a comedy and stops like about 15 minutes in every time after uh, Bambi's mom dies. That part's not funny. I know, but he thinks it's hilarious. That part makes me cry every time. Don't do that. You look so stupid. <laughs> she didn't Wrestlers cry. don't cry. Stop. You won't let me wrestle a match anyway. What's the point? Well, now I definitely can't because you broke your damn neck. Like baby, an idiot. Baby's mom's dead. What's the point of living? You done yet? I need a minute. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the top 10 things that you didn't know about Brock Lesnar from the champ himself, Mark. <laughs> Extreme. Be sure to uh, like us uh, on all the social medias. Leave a comment in this video um, about what you think about Brock Lesnar. And check out our Patreon page. Uh, make a pledge and support us on uh, Patreon. We've got shirts. ProWrestlingTees.com slash OIM show. Uh, you got anything you want to promote? R.I.P. Mark Camaro and Bambi's mom. <sighs> Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Number five, Goldberg has a tattoo on his shoulder, but it's not a tattoo of drawings. It's a brand from a branding iron that Ted Turner made Goldberg get that Terry Funk put on him with his branding iron to symbolize he's Ted Turner's property forever.